experiment. We, we uh, filmed somebody's bedroom and then we showed the public just the VT, just the videotape of their bedroom to see if they could accurately tell us the nature of the person who lives there. The, uh, the, our results were astonishing, 90% correct. My name's Paul Zarafa, I'm 25 years of age. This is my bedroom, hope you enjoy it. Like our sons used to be. I've been mates with Paul for about five years. He's one of my best mates. He's a very fun loving person. I think he's fun loving and he enjoys life. Whenever we go out, he's one of the main people starting conversations or interacting with people. He's got a lot of football and um, stuff in his room, you know. He's got even got the leg thing, so I think he's part of a football team or something I like that. So I'd say he's quite sociable. He's very trusting and he's very low and you can rely on him. I don't know, something to do with the neatness of his room and everything being out as well made it seem quite exposed, made him seem quite interesting. But sometimes it's very disorganised. The table of deodorants and stuff was just kind of there. It, it wasn't put in a shelf or it wasn't in a nice designated place. Being a graphic designer, he's got loads of ideas floating around. Again, back to his colour scheme, he was creative that way, he likes his room to be all neat. One thing I'd say that sums up Paul, he's very independent. Yeah, I think he's quite independent. He's got a single room, he obviously lives by himself, maybe within a house here, but he's not living with his family. I'd have to disagree, man. I think that's quite a, a family, family home sort of bedroom. 90% spot on, and we, we didn't mm -hmm. have room for all of them. I mean, but the, time after time yeah. after time, people got him, him right just by looking at those, that video. 